Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, this is Blinds Corner, where we do a little bit of everything, but today we're playing Genshin Impact. Oh! I was gonna say, I wonder if I can fall down there, but clearly I can. <laughs> um, if you haven't watched these videos before, uh, make sure you go ahead and do that so you can get caught up on what's going on. I will put a card in the right hand corner for you. Um, for everyone who has watched the video, I will jog your memory a bit. We are in the Wolf Temple now, um, with Kea. Let me show you how the Knights of Favonius conquer our adversaries. <laughs> thanks. Okay. So it's a trial? First of all, the key weak spots are where the core is exposed on the head and the back. Try to hit one of them. This is the Ruin Guard. Which we saw last episode. Oh my gosh, he's super fast. Well, he has long hmm. legs too. If I'm not mistaken, the end of the temple should be up there. Wait, oh, your how do you know? <laughs> experience. The kind of experience you get after years of dealing with things like this for others. Catch the wind. <laughs> cool. If there is water around, opponents may become wet. Cryo skills can freeze water, hydro opponents, and or opponents that are wet. Utilize this element reaction to gain the advantage over your opponents. Okay. I was hoping it would just shatter. Traveler, unless I'm mistaken, you don't seem to have a vision. So how exactly is it that you're able to channel elemental energy? It was a very strange feminine phenomenon. Uh, something strange happened. A flamethrower's core is what gives it the energy to shoot fire. Use cryo skills to temporarily disable flamethrower's cores and stop them from shooting fire. Dodge this. Here we go. Give me that chest. Ooh, that was nice. Seems the path ends here. Let's use the wind currents to fly up. Okay, sorry. <laughs> the blue stone in the center of the room is hydro amber. Breaking it will make it rain. Okay. Water! We can 
can use this to put out fire. Good idea. That's some keen observation. We should get Jean to give you a title and make you a knight. <laughs> Oh, I thought I killed it, but no. It was just attacking me. No, my sword. Oh, I love him. And a chest. Ooh, a precious chest. Carrot and a potato. We can make a whole soup. Sorry, it's getting really late. I'm pretty t like tired, but when I get tired, I get hyper and I act weird. Although, like, I haven't had my weird personality out yet. That's. Okay. Underwater spikes make the area too dangerous to swim through. That's okay, so we can freeze it and create a safe passage, so Dodge this Speaking of, did you know? Storm Terror was once one of the four winds. I'm not aware of the exact details. If you're interested, you can ask the acting grand master about it. Honey, Amber already explained that he was. He's probably not really, like, a bad dragon. He's probably just displeased with everything that's been going on. That's my theory, at least. Freeze! Oh no, why did I waste that? Is that the thing that Storm Terror is using to gain its power? Seems probable. Let's deal with it. That was easy. Bravo! What a performance! You are, to my surprise, a well-trained knight. The battles you just fought were sights to behold. <laughs> I see you already have the knightly virtue of modesty. The stories of your heroic deeds to save Mondstadt from destruction shall be known throughout the City of Freedom, well into the future. Please do visit me at our headquarters when you have the time. I also know a lovely tavern. If that's more your thing. Quite rewarding, no? We've seized another temple from Storm Terror's grasp. I can take care of the rest here. You go take care of other things while I'm at it. See you later then, bye bye. There's no way Hilly Turtles organize an ambush like this themselves, not with their limited mental capacity. <laughs> Thus, you were behind this. Okay, so... Who are you? I enjoy this character because I enjoy redheads. Knights of Aphonius! <laughs> Always so inefficient. Agree to disagree, but your involvement in this just made things a whole lot more interesting. So I'm guessing that character is from the rival guild. thought that I heard like a howling. So I think it's hilly curls. <gasps> Yay, come here. Okay, I got it. 
At first I didn't think I could jump that high. But I got it. Okay, so that's who I need to talk to. Lisa. I work with a lady named Lisa. <laughs> birds I always think they have a nest nearby because it makes sense <coughs> I found a mushroom a couple mushrooms and some dandelions Wing blade. <laughs> thank you Hesitate to come to me if you need anything. Hmm, good question. Well, because Jean trusts me, so you should as well. Sure. I'll trust you. Because I'm a trusting person. Obviously, I'm going to go with these guys, so we're going to start. <laughs> oh, I thought that was a bird nest. But it wasn't. Can I light this? Yeah. I wonder if I'm supposed to light them, or if it even matters. do it. Oh wait, they're all lit. Okay. I guess I could give this a go. Oh, oh. I knew it. There is a strong elemental energy coming from deep within this temple. Paimon, are you able to float across? Can't do much even if she does. Good point. We'd better start looking for a way to get up there then. Let's ride this wind current, shall we? She's making that noise. Ha, he, ha, ha. Okay. <laughs> Leave it to me. Leave what to you? Ha. This? Ha. Come a little closer. an electro monument no wonder lisa's elemental skill can be unleashed by pressing or charged by holding 
When the skill is fully charged, releasing it unleashes an attack. Oh, an area attack dealing massive electro damage. Let me try to activate it with a bit of electro power. I Stand back, did. sweeties. Oh my. Okay. So I have to use Lisa. You're in for a little shock. Blitz. Oh, that was neat. I... Oh, I... Okay, I completed it. I thought I failed again. Thank you. I found an anime... Anime... Anime? Animo sigil. What's over there? Stop attacking me. <laughs> uh, okay. Um. <laughs> when it comes to wet enemies, I've got them covered. Oh, okay. Let's up a little. That was cool. That reminds me of Lampert. Lampert? Lampent. I have no idea. I blew myself up. This girl is on fire. Yeah, she was. She's not anymore. Oh, wait. Another one current. Let's read oh, it out from okay. here. Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, this is Blend's Corner where we do a little bit of everything, but today we're playing Genshin Impact. Now, if you are new and you haven't watched the other videos, I will put a card up in the right hand corner, so make sure you go check those out first so you can be up to date. Um... Aside from that, right now we are in the electric temple. Temple? Yeah, I guess. Shrine temple thing. <laughs> and we're trying to get through. I actually tried to record this once, but I kept killing my characters for whatever reason. It's like... It, it's honestly not that hard. But I keep killing them right here. And it was just irritating me, so I went ahead and I started a new video. But in the other video, I was kind of explaining a giveaway we're doing right now for The Sims 4. Um, so we'll be giving away four stuff packs to four different people. Any stuff pack of your choice. Um, once we get four more Break subscribers. It, head home and relax. <sighs> The thought of putting my feet up and relaxing has me all fired up. Dragon of the East, Lion of the South, Wolf of the North, Falcon of the West. The Dragon of the East, Storm Terror, its real name is Dvalin. Though most in Mondstadt seem to have forgotten that in all this Storm Terror business. So now you know why Dvalin is only able to channel three of the Four Winds power. Because it has been consuming itself from the beginning. Um, I'm gonna go with why would it go to such lengths? Because of hatred, I presume. Hatred? Hatred for Mondstadt. Um, I think your presumptions are wrong. I think that maybe it might be sad. Because that boy was talking to it, if you guys remember, and... Oh, okay. 
you guys won't remember because that's where the cu uh, video cut out. But if you do play this game, then you would know what I'm talking about. The boy was talking to him, the uh, storm tear. So I think he might be sad or something other than anger or hatred. Hatred drove it to become something more powerful than the wind itself, to become storm terror. But why would one of the four winds hate the city it was supposed to protect? Uh, as a child of Mondstadt, it's something that's really hard to say aloud. Here, take this. It's a very old story from more than a century ago. So... I don't know what that says, and I'm not going to read it right now. But my theory is that Storm Terror became upset that... The citizens of Mondstadt stopped worshipping it. Or worshipping at the temples. Or visiting them, you know? Something like that. I don't know, it's very late. It's like almost four in the morning now. should hopefully be back to normal. Want to go back and see how the knights are doing? But if you've got anything more interesting to do, Paimon can come too. By the way, we obtained another animunculus in one of the Four Winds temples, right? We might come across more of them in the future, so don't forget to offer them to the statues. Paimon is so cute, especially when she's being stern. Okay. You can improve your adventure. <laughs> Hang on, I'm sorry. You can improve your adventure rank by offering animoculi to the statue of the seven, unlocking waypoints, seeking out chests in the open world, completing quests, and clearing domains. Tempest Fugit Chapter. And we unlock some more maps. He has troubles. Dadopa Gorge. Cape Oath. Okay. Why do I have to open the quest menu? I already had it open. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> okay, I have a couple new quests. So I have a story quest and an Archon quest, which I cannot do yet. And then I also have not do yet <laughs> okay collapse so i guess i'm doing kia's troubles eventually and then let's open the menu so i got an achievement i will collect that thank you Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna not delete that.
Okay, I'll do that later. I'm sorry. Um, do I have wishes? I have 608. So I can do a couple wishes. Got a spell book. I guess I'll try this one. I keep getting these black tassels. Okay, I am obsessed. I... Like, the first time I played the lottery, I was, like, crazy. And, like, this is, like, playing the lottery. Okay, actually, I have a story for you guys. So, I actually haven't played it in, like, a year or two, but I used to be obsessed with the mobile phone game called Love Nikki, and I would spend so much money on it. Which, like, I wouldn't do that now because I have, of course... Four lovely animals to take care of. Five. Five? Four. Five. I have five animals. <laughs> five lovely animals. Two dogs, three cats. And then, of course, we have our nephew cat. And then my sister and her boyfriend live with us. So, like, our family is crazy. So, I would not do that now. But, like, before, I didn't have as many responsibilities. So... I kind of just spent a crazy amount of money on it because I always rationalize in my head like this is such a good deal I should do this I should get this and it would drive Nathan Nate crazy like so so crazy but obviously I deleted love Nikki <laughs> Because, number one, it got a little bit boring for me. And number two, because I spent so much money on it. <laughs> oh no. But, like, I'm going to control myself with this game. Where did that little guy go? I want to zoom this way. Although I'm... Oh, a chest. I'm going to go get that. <laughs> Adventure rink 8. Okay. Thank you. Oh. Hello. Pavel. Leave me alone. I don't do small talk. Oh, okay. How about you, Sarvik? Sarivrik? I don't know. Come on, how long do you expect a guy to keep waiting, huh? Who are you? You've never heard the name Saravik before? I would say I'm surprised, but you are an arrogant country bumpkin after all. Okay. He's a businessman. <laughs> Very rude. Yeah! Rain outlines your fate. 
Okay, that's my favorite saying so far. I wanna go home. Where am I going? Is this an actual quest? Manly Jack. Ah, uh, Shushu. Oh, you're just a traveler. I was convinced that you were a hilly girl. What are you doing? Uh, well, ever heard of a little something called manliness? That fellow Jack from the Adventurer's Guild, he knows all about it. Says that if you delete 10,000 hilly girls, then everyone suddenly sees you as Mr. Manly, and so on. So, I am currently getting ready to prove, once and for all, that I am the manliest man of a lot. Go on, I'm watching. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm taking my time over this. Don't want to rush into it and make a fool of myself now, do I? Hilly girls are the most terrifying of creatures. You don't go up against a hurly girl without doing some serious preparation in advance. You know, filing your nails, styling your fringe. Sure. Get, get him to wait a sec. What? You're so rude. A bunch of stuff that flew out of there. A tomato. I don't see any more monsters, so what is with Hello, Mr. Fox. Hello, birdies. Fireflies. Can I catch? No? Aww. That's sad. Just... Can I... had a bunch in it. I said that, but look! Look at the moon! And little Foxy Karama playing over there. Okay. And Mr. Squirrel. I guess 
that would be bad. It's probably because my base is too hot. And I got my chest. And a bird egg. <laughs> But anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this video off here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to turn on your notifications so you can be updated when we post the next video. And subscribe for more content just like this. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great night. Now, at first, this channel was only going to be dedicated to The Sims 4. But Nate and I kind of talked and we wanted to share the channel between the two of us. So our channel was originally Blend Sims, and then we changed it to Blend's Corner, so we could do a little bit of everything, like <laughs> I announce every single video. Um, and the reason for that, like, we were firstly going to do The Sims because a lot of people say that if you're doing a channel, you should just do, like, one set game like if you're a gamer you should only do one set game but honestly I disagree because if you're making a YouTube channel you should be making it to have fun you want to get genuine subscribers that enjoy your content and enjoy the games that you play with you um it's like a lot of YouTubers I think have this misconception that you're going to get wildly popular and then be able to make money from it, which would be nice. But honestly, this is like an escape for us because <laughs> we both work full-time jobs and right now the world is crazy. So this is fun. This is great. And the only thing that we're hoping for is that we do get more subscribers. That way more opportunities do open up for us but also because we want the engagement so we want to hear what you think good or bad um you're allowed to have your own opinions obviously um all we ask is that you be respectful although i know that some people can't do that i'm not saying any of the sus subscribers but people who might not like your content may not be respectful but either way, we do still want to hear your opinions um, and open up chats and see what you guys want to see. Um, I just think when you start a channel, you should be doing it to have fun, not to make money or become popular. <laughs>